Today I'm going to be gluing up the draw boxes. They had four last night, which sit over here. They turned out pretty good, to be fair. The, the main aim with gluing these up is to, to get it a really strong and well-glued joint without getting too much glue squeeze on the inside edges. So everything on the inside of the drawer now is brought to a finish, so that is ready for the, the stain and the lacquer coats that are going to go on once everything's all said and done. So I'll take you through the process of gluing these up now. It's got a couple of um, battens here on the bench from the two tail boards. Uh, two clamps like this, which are going to put the pin board in. The stack is all the drawers ready to go. So you've got your um, pin board and tail boards and your drawer base that all are the right size and match each other, all stacked up one after the other. And I'm just going to work my way down these. And they're in size order as well, so you don't have to keep altering the clamps. This makes your life a lot easier. I've got a little pot of, this is IPA cleaner. That is for the little brush, so I can brush out the PU glue. This is the glue I'm using. I'll, I'll leave a link down below to these. They work out really good value, and actually it's one of the, probably is the best glue I've ever used. I just like the colour, the consistency, how it, how it adheres, and the fact you can get a 5 minute and a 30 minute version in the same brand adhesive that looks exactly the same as a finish. And it's available on Amazon, so you can buy a box of it when you need it, with uh, free delivery on Prime, rather than having to make up an order and buying four or five boxes of something. I'm going to be using the 30 minute today. It just gives me enough open time to tweak the draw sides if I need to and get it square, but it also dries quick enough that it frees up the clamps from the previous draw. So I means I've got enough clamps to, to keep my workflow going. If I was using something like PVA or, or Cascomite, um, you'd need hundreds of clamps to, to get them all clamped up, waiting for them to dry. I've got the blocks of wood there, just to keep it off the bench, stop the glue. Once you get a bit of glue on the bench and then keep putting bits of wood down on it, you end up in a right mess. And if you're getting in a mess, it gets on your hands and then you get it all over the inside face of the drawer. And you've got to try and get in there and sand that off then. So I want to keep this face as clean as possible. You need clean hands and a clean bench. Glue these up without any glue squeeze, put a bit of tape, just overhang the tape, that's there by like two mil. Push it down well on the face, basically. I always leave the bottom dangling off. If you wrap that round and type it tightly to the bottom, it's really hard to get that off when you've got your gloves on. You end up covered in glue trying to pick that off. So try and leave the tape loose. Do that for all four joints on these pin boards. And the front and the back of the drawer, you want to set your clamps so that you get a couple of blocks and cut them dead square so that when they're clamped, that it will spread the clamping pressure nice and flat across the drawer side. Because it's really easy when you're clamping a, a thin 50mm piece of oak over a 250mm tall or even wider drawer side to crack that drawer side. What I end up doing is getting a second batten that's thicker than the front or the back of the drawer sit them on the clamps like so and then that raises these up so that they slide above that drawer side so basically we're clamping the sides of the drawer as far as they'll go into the sockets to give us that sort of half a mil of um, lip on the ends of these because if you remember from the previous videos we have cut these front and backs of the drawers one millimeter longer than we wanted the final drawer width so we need half a mil of protrusion from each side. That block will help us to clamp the sides in past the ends of that board. So we're pretty much ready to start putting some glue on. I just get the draw bottom ready, get this even in the width. If you put your draw bottom in and they're quite tight, you'll find it really difficult to clamp and, and push one of the draw sides in. So I'm just looking at the gap on the ends here, just to see that central within the draw front. I'm gonna seat that down I always house them right down, so that that's all nice and tight. And that's ready for my glued up piece to be pushed straight into place. So I'm not going to put any adhesive on this component here. If I put some in these sockets or any anywhere on this board, as you push the tail into place, it's going to trap the adhesive behind the tail and squeeze it out to the inside of the drawer. So the tape is protecting the inside of the drawer box from getting any adhesive on it. And if we use a downwards motion with the brush at all times, there's no way I'm going to force 
any glue underneath the tape or try and lift the tape while I'm applying that adhesive. This is like a draw box masterclass. We can reach down and peel straight off. Same on the other side, repeat for all four of them joints. Finish spreading your glue, dip it in the, uh, the IPA or the acetone. If your brush isn't gonna last beyond this glue up, you won't be able to clean it out to the point where you can use it another day. But while it's sat in the fluid, it will last, it won't go off. And looking at the orientation of the draw side, just gonna slot them into their appropriate places. It should be about the right position. Just to get them sat in there. I'm not gonna do any too much tapping. Before I put that in, you can see how there's no glue on this inside edge. blocks to clamp it in place. That one keeps it away from the glue, that one to actually push the side in. Do the same thing at the top but with a single clamp and you can put that block in just below the glue line and pull on the clamp to hold it in place while you sort the other end out. and just try and clamp them up fairly evenly together. Once it starts engaging the bottom, might have to give it a tap. To make sure the side is half a mil in, from the edges. It's quite hard to see on the camera with the glue there, but you can sort of tell when they're in place. The main one to look for and where it's gonna be tight is on the drawer bottom, because that's where everything is, is quite tight. That's the tricky bit really, is getting them, getting it together without destroying the sides of the drawer, knocking it about. Then move over to this other set of clamps. This, this stage isn't necessarily essential. I mean, you can leave your draw box if your dovetails are absolutely perfect. They should be fairly tight on these joints anyway, so you shouldn't need to do this stage, but it's just a, a way of ensuring that they're perfect. I like to clamp all four corners, so I put a clamp top and bottom through each side to really pull these joints nice and tight. Another thing to note is actually you might need to give the middle of the drawer a tap. If you your bottom board is quite tight, it can bow the, the middle of that um, board out, so make sure they're seated. When the bottom is clamped up, I just check the top with a square stick, so I've already got a couple of marks on here. So just checking from corner to corner, make sure that they're the same measurement. And if they're not right, you might have to um, take the draw box out of the, the clamps and give it a tap sort of on one corner or knock it with a mallet and a block to try and square the drawer up if you can. Final two clamps on the top. And these are the most important joints to get tight because of the ones you see. There we have it, I can leave that now in these clamps. I take it off the table and then start gluing the next one up and I'll, I'll leave that one until the third drawer glue up. So that will be in the clamps until drawer number three needs these clamps again because I've got two sets to do that. That method of applying the glue really works quite well. I mean, there's there's no glue squeeze or cleanup required unless you really are overzealous with the application of the glue, which you, there's gonna be tiny bits, like there's a little bit there, the first one. I mean, I've done four over here, the first four I did. I don't think I actually had any glue squeeze at all in any of them inside corners. So it saves you a lot of time later on trying to clean up. Even if you use runny glue, and you clean it up with water, you always get a residue mark where that's been and it affects the staining of the timber later on the, and the quality of the job. There we go, look at that beast. That's the panels that we glued together, cut down, uh, planed up and then glued back together. 
to make these really tall boards out of a, a cooked piece of timber that was nice and flat. So it's worked out really well. I'll put it on uh, one times camera so you get a bit of an idea for the scale, but it is an absolute whopper. So there we go, that's what I'll be doing today. I've got 20 drawers to glue up and hopefully you've picked up a few tips and tricks on how to glue up some draw boxes because the PU glue method has really been a bit of a revelation for me um, in gluing these things up. It's made it so much easier. As always, give the video a like and uh, let me know what you think. Give me some feedback, a comment. Um, always great to see them. I read every single one. I don't get to reply to them all anymore, especially emails. I get a lot of emails and, and ask for help aside from the YouTube comments. So um, I do my best to help everyone that I can, but uh, obviously appreciate there's a lot of people emailing in. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. All the tape from gluing up the dovetails looks like a piece of modern art. Maybe I should hang it up in the workshop.